Beautiful, sweet. And I used to say to Olivia, come on, darling, come on. She said, and why Lenny, why Lenny? I said, because we're going to have a couple of bottles of champagne, that's why. And maybe we should start doing a bit of rehearsing. <laughs> <laughs> because, you know, we were absolutely, and a lot of people said it was just like a publicity thing, but I just knew that, that this was a fantastically wonderful young woman. And has, has any of you checked out India Eiley, her daughter? Oh, isn't she just beautiful? Gosh, I think she's terrific. I call her, I, I met her the first time and I said, OK, I've got a new name for you. She said, what's that? I said, you are going to be light bulb from now, from now on. So she said, why? I said, because you're just like a light bulb. You walk into a room and she just, you know, lights up. Anyway, I did the, the, the thing. Um, the audition and then the screen test and learned that I got the part and I was very very happy about that as you can imagine and um, I said to my headmaster at school um, I've got this part and he said you have to do your exam exams and I said oh well forget the exams you know I want to go to Italy so uh, that's what we did and for me as you can imagine am I going on too much here? Yeah? <laughs> I used to say all the nicest things <laughs> Um, and to actually go for the first time in my life, I mean, other than the Russian trip, of course, and be in Italy. And I remember getting off the plane, and Frank, who was there waiting for me, I said, oh, Frank, I didn't know you were going to be here. He said, I have to drive you back to the villa in the Ford Mustang. Just got a blue one. It's nice. <laughs> it was just fantastic. 1966 GT Mustang. When like the clappers. <laughs> anyway, um, so that was nice. <laughs> Can you imagine what it was like to be in Rome as a young man and to see Rome for the first time? Just full of golden yellow light and sort of, I don't know, sunlight everywhere. Um, since then, I've had a continued um, loving relationship with Bella Italia. So, uh, I've, I've heard that you indeed did have a crush on Olivia, and that Olivia, when she was here, I um, asked her about that, and she said, well, she didn't have a crush on you, she had a crush on Franco. And then I asked her who Franco had a crush on, and she said, not me, darling. <laughs> <laughs> and for those of you that don't know, <laughs> Franco is gay, okay? And it's all over Romeo and Juliet, if you ask me. I mean, it is a very beautiful homoerotic film. And, you know, those cod pieces and those tights and those gloves. <laughs> so he, the man knew what he was doing. And it was quite funny, I must tell you, because we, uh, we were uh, around a bunch of friends of mine, Franco was in the room. And somebody said, how did you enjoy the film? And he said, well, for me, it was a big camp, darling. And Franco went, camp, Leonard, camp? What is camp? I don't know what camp is. I think he knew. Huh? Mm -hmm. now, I have a quote here that I love uh, from a magazine about the nude scene, since we're talking about sexuality and everything. We can't stop. I was, <laughs> I was, I was. <laughs> well, I was, OK? So I love this quote, and I wanted to get your opinion on it, if you really even indeed said this. So it says, um, Olivia Hussey on filming the nude scene in Fab Magazine, 1969. You remember Fab Magazine? <laughs> Leonard leaned back in his chair and said, Ali, you're worried about the nude scene, aren't you? I must have turned super red. I knew all I could do is whisper a soft yes. Leonard worried about me being embarrassed too. Olivia, he said for the first time, not using Ollie as a nickname. I wish we were both born brother and sister. Then we could play this nude scene without any of these problems or feelings. When we have to do this very difficult scene, in my eyes, you'll be more fully and beautifully clothed perfect sincerity and goodness of your sweet mind. You'll be surrounded and protected by a brilliant shimmering light that will enable me to see only your eyes, nothing else. Jesus said that just like Shirley Temple. Uh. 
What a great actress you are. <laughs> um, um, I can't think of anybody who would be idiotic enough to say all those things. <laughs> you just made them up, didn't you? Did you make them up? It was on the internet. Well, 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 you know, I think we should all, all remember one thing which is very important, which is the internet is information, it's not knowledge. Huh? And I will add, Facebook is not real life, too. <laughs>